well, it's a little dusty. They finally got some drier weather. This is the end of that big cut through drive. I'm driving parallel to it. Coming out to where the original cell phone camera was at. Perspective here. That's those pines you just parked. This is looking from the far eastern part of the property. Used to be a road right here. You can see the decks right here. Right here, when it focuses, you're gonna see that it's all those pines that you just marked, John. You see kind of the path that you followed there. I see a total of four, six, 10 pines I think you kept. Big, beautiful pines. They've got it cleared out down along the fence row. I hear, I don't know if you can listen, but I think it's here, the 13 cicadas. Somebody posted a picture of a turkey, had 57 cicadas in its crop down here in Abbeville County, and I can hear them. This is the northeast corner. It's always good when you see your plan come to fruition. This right here is a dogwood that I've said, hey, I want to keep it. Uh, and then right here's a really nice white oak. You can see we banded it. It's all leafing out. And if you look over here, there's a, just a crazy looking tree. And next to it is that shagbar kickery that I marked. Happy to see they're following the marks. You know, you got a nice set of dogwoods right here as well. Looking back up, you can see those pines. These are right up in the pines. Standing in the shade of one on an 88 degree, degree day. That's looking northeast. Yeah, this is going to be real nice. You can see way off in the distance, that's the road in. Looking to the south. a nice beautiful savanna type habitat looks like i got a big old rock here nice don't know what that is but pretty cool all these little thick as dog hair pine that has cleared them out beautiful let's go look at the equipment well, let's see the deck here. So you can see he's got his Tiger Cat 234B. Got some uh, pulp wood long pine here. That's pretty small diameter stuff. And then here's a bunch of end rounds, some beach, the beach hard round here. Got a bunch of other end rounds here. They sawed off. Some twisty turny pine, bunch of hardwoods. I don't know if he'll chip those or what. I don't know if he'll feed those in. I assume all those are gonna get chipped. That's my assumption. And then some better pine here. Pretty interesting to look at it that way. Let's walk up here. You can see a lot of chips. Turns out, some chips near the chipper it blows them in there he's been stacking up some good round logs some i see some poplar here this right here's poplar with that dark center got some red oak here poplar poplar red oak red oak red oak Poplar, 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 poplar. I think that's pretty neat how he just stacks them up there on the hydraulics. Mm -hmm. A lot of poplar. Then a whole bunch of stuff to chip up. Looks like he almost just bunches them up here. I don't know what the DL4400 Classic is by CSI. But they make short work of it. I know that with that big old chipper. I've never seen it in action. 
That's my goal before they leave site, is to see this big old beast in action. The more bark from Wynn, Michigan, model 4036. I thought I would stop here as I was driving out. I noticed right over here, just look at all that stuff lined up to be chipped. And there's stacks on stacks on the back there too, but they've got it lined up, ready to go. It's gonna be a nice little grove here.